Welcome back to Vibe of Velo. I'm Joshua, and this time I'm going to be telling you about reference fields and how they can help you with your development. Now, a reference field is a way for you to connect items from one collection to another, right? So these items can be linked and they're also relevant to one another. So I'm going to be showing you this example of a bookstore and how you can connect uh, an author collection to a book collection. Now, every book has an author, and now we're going to be using the author uh, database collection and referencing it inside of another collection for the books. Now, this is also kind of related to, like, let's say a relational database in a way where you are joining tables, right? So this is kind of a way for us to join these tables together uh, and put relevant data uh, where it needs to be. So let's dive into the editor and check out this uh, database collection. So let's go over here to the side pane and go to databases and check out the uh, collections I have already. So I have one for authors. And let's check out some of these great authors I have here. We have Richard Wright, Langston Hughes, Maya Angelou, uh, plenty of uh, authors here and also years that they were born, years that they uh, deceased, and then also their nationality. Next we have the books collection. Now let's go over here to the books collection. And we're going to see some of the great books that these authors have written. So we have Native Son, The Weary Blues, um, and so much more. But we notice that all these books are here, but they don't have any writers or authors. So we're going to need to know who these authors are. And the way we can do that is by adding another field to reference. So just so easily inside of the collection here, we could just add, click this Add button. And we're going to first change the type to reference. All right, so now this is how we're going to be joining each database collection to one another. And we can go here and change this here to writer or author, whatever we want. So let's just say writer. And then we're also going to choose the reference collection that we want. So let's go over here to authors. All right. We could change this again to authors just because. It makes more sense. So it's author. We'll save that there. Cool. And let's just move this over here. Now, I can go here with our reference field and choose any of the authors that I have inside of that collection that we chose. All right, so now I have Richard Wright, Langston Hughes, Maya Angelou, Zora Hurtson, and then we also have James Baldwin. Great. So now I have my items referenced inside of this books collection from the author's collection. Cool. So I opened up another page here on the front end. So let's just go back here to page code now. And I already have something started here inside my ID. I have imported here Wix data because we're going to be querying through the collection to then display the author and also maybe even the genre and then uh, what is being referenced from the reference field. Cool, so we already have Wix data imported here. And so what we're gonna do is use it. So right here inside of this function that we have nested inside of our onReady function already, um, we're going to uh, use Wix data. So let's use Wix data and we're gonna use the query function that is there and we're going to select our books collection. All right, so we're gonna query through the collection ID, which is just set as books. And you can always find your collection ID by going back into databases and you can click the edit button, you can see it right there. Now what's next, we're going to use the uh, .eq uh, function here as well. And we're going to specifically find the genre of uh, the book that we want to display here. So if we go back to the collection, we can see here in books, we have a field here for the genre. And we have a bunch of nonfiction books and even a poem. So let's click out here and we want to look for the genre. And then also we're going to choose nonfiction here. So we're specifying the, the field and then what the value is as well using .eq. Now also we need to use .find and then also use .then to then return a promise so that we can return these values onto our table here. So use dot then, and then we're gonna have this as my 
results. And then here from my results, we're going to have an arrow function, open that up. And what we'll do here is also structure our table. Cool. So what we're going to do now is we're going to select our table that we have here. So right now I already have this table labeled as books table. And we're going to use $W to select this table programmatically. And we're going to choose this table, books table. And then with the books table, since this is a table, we're going to use the table elements API as well to uh, manipulate the columns, right? So now that we selected our books table element, um, we're going to also structure it. So within this array, we're going to have some objects to represent each column, right? So uh, each column has its own ID. It also has a type, which most of these are going to be strings anyways. And then also you have to specify the label and what data path we're going to be connecting it to. So we have our ID. And for this instance here, our ID, we're just going to name it as column one. So we can keep it short with call. And then also we have our data path. And our data path is going to be the location of where we're selecting it with inside of our collection. So in this instance, it's going to be the field. And this field is going to be the title field, which holds the title of the book. And we're going to select uh, title. Can't spell. There we go. Then we're also going to change the label. So we have the label and the label, we're going to change that label to books. Awesome. So now that we have the label, we're also going to uh, change the width as well. So we have our width and the width of this is just going to be just 100. We're going to just leave it like that. And then we also have our visibility and we're going to change the visibility to true. And we're going to change this to true. And oh, let me go fix that real quick. To true. And then we also have our type. And we're going to set this type to string. Cool. Now we can copy this structure for all the other columns as well. So all I really have to do here is just copy and paste it and then change it up for all the other columns that we have. So we're going to change this to column number two. And we're going to change this to genre. And then this will be the label genre. We'll keep this all the same as well. And then for column number three, we're going to change this to the author and we're also going to change this to authors cool so we have our naming conventions down so as a last step what we're going to do is display the items onto the table so we'll just select a dollar w first so dollar w and we're going to select the books table and then next we'll use the rows uh, function here and we're going to equal that to my results dot items. Cool. So we're going to go check this out in preview. And you'll see that we are getting back our ID of the reference field. Now, this is how you can do it programmatically. There's also other ways that you can get the specific um, item out of the collection using query referenced or even dot includes but there's actually even a better way to do this without having to code anything at all in order to access the fields in the references. So as I was just mentioning, there are some other ways to go about this. Now you can do it programmatically like we just did, and you can use also one of the beauties of Velo and not having to code any of this at all. So if I want to connect any of my reference fields, we've already done so with inside the collection. Now what we can do is utilize the data set and connect to a repeater or any type of listing element and display the data from our reference field. So let's go ahead here and choose our repeater. And we can you click our connected data button, create a new data set, and we can choose the books uh, collection. 
and we'll just name it books data set. We'll leave the name there. Move this out the way. We'll click back in here into this button here for connect data. And we're gonna connect each um, item here inside of our repeater to a field in our collection. So right here you'll see that's idle because that is where uh, the reference field is. And these are all the fields available for the authors. So we have our title, the year born, year dead, all of that, nationality as well. And we're going to select the author since that's giving us the name of the author from the author table that we're referencing. And then the rest here, we can go and use the books uh, table. So what we're going to do is go back here and to this menu here, we already have that connected to the author name. We're also going to connect this to the name of the book itself. We'll go back to all connections and then we'll also choose the genre. So now when I go here to preview, we should be able to get all of our books matched up with our authors as well. So we did this all without having to add any code. Um, there's some other techniques that you can go about this as well, like using query reference and also the dot includes function. But uh, one of the beauties of Velo is that you can also utilize a lot of our not no code solutions and combine it with code as well to uh, pick up your velocity when you're uh, coding out these projects. So that is enough about reference fields and um, you'll learn a lot more about data um, throughout the rest of Vibe with Velo.